How to merge voice memos iPhone. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a video tutorial on how to merge voice memos iPhone. For this video, we will be using a third party application. So we have to first go to the App Store. And on the App Store, make sure to look up any video editing application that you prefer. So I will be using CapCut for this video. If you don't have this one downloaded just yet, just simply look up CapCut and then tap the download button. As you can see, I already have it on my phone so I can just open it. But another option that you can use is the splice application. This one, you can make use of that as well. And even InShot. So whichever you prefer, but again, we'll be using CapCut. So let's go to CapCut. And on CapCut, make sure you are on edit and then tap on new project. So on this page, uh, just simply look or add a blank page. So any photo actually should work as well, but I prefer using a blank one. So I'm just going to tap add right here. And then as you can see, we can now add audio, but we're going to leave it right here. We now have to go back to our voice memos. So I'm going to go to my voice memos here. And we're going to have to add the voice memos we'd like to merge one by one. So I'm going to tap on edit at the right top corner of the page. And let's say I want to add voice memo one first. Just tap on that and then tap on this button at the bottom left corner of the page. And then look for CapCut on this section. So I don't have CapCut here, I guess. But you can just tap on more to see if you can find it there. As you can see, we have CapCut here. So tap on CapCut, but if you're going to use Splice, then make sure you use Splice. But then okay, we're going to use CapCut. So just confirm you want to import the audio to CapCut. And there you have it. This is our voice memo one right here. Now, if we want to merge it with our voice memo two, just go back to the voice recordings again, or the recordings again. Tap edit, basically follow the same process and open it with CapCut as well. Confirm you want to import audio too. And there you have it. We now have both voice memo one and voice memo two. And once you are satisfied, just simply tap on the save icon at the right top corner of the page. And as you can see, it's now being exported to my camera roll. So you can now play it and test it out. But then again, it is saved as a video. So if you'd like it to be saved as an audio, feel free to download applications from the app store that converts MP4 to MP3. And that's how easy it is to merge voice memos on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, please let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.